Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. If you like watching videos about plants, learning about them, learning about how they work, the nutrients they need, tips and tricks on how to grow them, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and come hang out. So a few weeks back, I posted a video about the nutrients that plants need and why they need them. So after doing that, I started thinking about what the plants look like after they had some deficiencies and you know what deficiencies look like what in plants so that's what I'm going to present to you today a list of the nutrient deficiencies and how they present themselves in a plant so first we have to talk about plant nutrient mobility so there are some nutrients that can flow throughout the plant they don't get fixed and there are other nutrients that get fixed in the structure of the plant as they grow so mobile nutrients, you'll see deficiencies um, at starting at, in the older leaves and also then working its way to the newer leaves. Where immobile nutrient deficiencies, you're only going to see in the newer leaves because those nutrients, before it was deficient, you know, before the plant had a deficiency, was able to lock those nutrients in the plant structure so that it, you know, can grow and do what the plant needs to do. So that's that. Next thing we need to talk about is micronutrients and macronutrients. So macronutrients are the nutrients where the plant needs more of it, right? And micro is the opposite, where the plant doesn't need as much. It's still needed, but just not as much as the macronutrients. All right. So first we're going to talk about the macronutrients. Okay, we all know the big three, phosphorus, nitrogen, potassium. But I'm going to go through what they look like when the plant is having a deficiency in those. And I also found for some of these like quick little home remedy fixes. Um, I've never tried any of them. So yeah, but we're going to do that. So the first one we're going to talk about is nitrogen, which is a mobile nutrient. So you'll see it in the older leaves as well as the newer leaves are going through to the newer leaves. So for a nitrogen deficiency, you're going to have stunted growth, you're going to have extreme pale leaf color that can appear to be burnt when there's an extreme nitrogen uh, deficiency. And a quick uh, fix for that, or home remedy fix for that, would be adding coffee grounds to your soil, or I guess to the top of your soil. So yeah, there's that's nitrogen. Uh, the second one is phosphorus, which is also a mobile nutrient. And you're going to have stunted growth. You're going to have dark green leaves with a bronze color under on the underleaf. Uh, and a quick fix for that is adding bone meal to the top of your soil. I don't know what bone meal even looks like. I'm assuming, I feel like it's something you cook with, but I've never seen it. I don't know who just keeps that lying around. If you do, or if you know why someone would keep that lying around, let me know, because that just baffled me. So, that's phosphorus. All right, the next one is potassium. Potassium is also a mobile nutrient. And for that, you're gonna have the edge of the leaves are gonna go pale, and they're gonna fold up. You're gonna have small spots on the leaf tips, and that those, the spots are going to turn like a rusty color. And then to fix that, um, it was recommended adding banana peels or citrus peels to the soil. Which again, I feel like is going to really make like a gnat issue. Like definitely happen. And if you already have some gnats, it's going to just, they're going to explode. They're going to be everywhere. So, I don't know. Do with that what you will. But that's what it was recommended. Alright, the next macronutrient that we're going to talk about is calcium, which is an immobile nutrient, so you're only going to see this deficiency in the newer leaves. So the new leaves will be pale, they're going to dry up at the tips, and new uh, leaf buds are going to dry up and die off too. So for fixing calcium deficiencies in the soil, they suggested adding crushed eggshells to your soil, to the top of your soil. And then they kind of also, I found one paper where I went into it a little bit deeper where for acidic soils, you're going to add lime. And then for alkalinic soils, you're going to add gypsum. 
So if you know the pH of your soil, you can add those two, two things to it to increase your calcium. All right. So the next one we're going to talk about is magnesium. Magnesium is a mobile nutrient, so you'll see it in the older, moving up to the newer leaves. The leaf edges will pale, and they're going to fold up into little like cup shapes on the edges. <laughs> and then it was recommended to add Epsom salt to the soil. They also said you can add lime. Alright, the next uh, macronutrient, or the last macronutrient that was listed was sulfur, which is an immobile nutrient. So the new leaves and the veins will be pale. So you can have the leaf and the veins of the new leaves being really pale. Alright, so the next set of nutrients that we're going to talk about are the micronutrients. So these nutrients, they're not going to be plentiful in the plant or in the soil. Um, yeah, so... But they are needed, so that's why they were listed. So chlorine, which is a mobile nutrient. You're going to have pale leaves, spots, the brown, uh, brown edges that wilt and become mottled. And then the root system will be restricted and highly branched. So it's not, they're not going to be long roots. They're going to be like really short roots and they're highly branched. So if you go to pull out your plant because you think, you know, maybe you have a watering issue, you've rotted some roots, and you see there's a lot of really small roots, you might have a chlorine deficiency. That was, that was it. <laughs> so iron is the next uh, micronutrient, and that is an immobile nutrient. So you're going to see this in the newer leaves. The newer leaves are going to pale while the veins of... Uh, while the major veins of the leaf stay a dark green. So like the main, the main vein in the leaf and the larger leaves before they like branch out will be green and you'll have like a really pale green or yellow looking leaf growing new, growing through. All right, the next one is boron, which is also an immobile nutrient. So the new leaf buds will be discolored, wilt, and break off. Okay, so the next one that is listed is manganese. Manganese is an immobile nutrient, so the new leaves will be pale, and the veins will also stay dark. So that's really it. There was no fix for that either. Okay, so the next one is zinc. Zinc is a mobile nutrient, so you'll see it in the older leaves as well as the newer leaves. And those leaves will turn a pale, they'll turn pale, the newer leaves will come in narrower and um, narrower and short. Shorter and narrow. <laughs> and you'll start to develop dark spots um, throughout the leaf um, and then the veins will remain and stay dark. So there was a quick fix like home remedy, home remedy type of fix for a zinc deficiency, which was weird, um, and it's to spray the plant with kelp extract. Again, this is like the bone meal, like who has kelp extract just lying around? I don't know. I don't know. If you know, let me know, because I am baffled. <laughs> Again, baffled. But that's what was recommended. So the next micronutrient is copper. Copper is an immobile nutrient, so the newer leaves will come in a pale pink, pinkish color, and will wilt and drop off. So that's interesting. So that's like a good something indicator. You know, a lot of these will say, oh, the, the leaves will pale and this and that. You know, you'll get spots, but copper, if you, cut, if you plant, if they come in pale pink and don't turn and wilt and die off, <laughs> it's probably a copper deficiency. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is molybdenum. Molybdenum. I feel like I say that wrong, but molybdenum. <laughs> and that is a mobile nutrient, so you'll see it in the older leaves as well as the newer leaves. And the leaves will turn a pale green, yellowish orange color. You will develop spots between the veins, so the veins won't have spots on them, but the leaf will. And then the leaves will secrete a sticky sap underneath the leaf. That's also very interesting. Okay, so there you go. Those are the nutrient deficiencies that I found. Um, did I miss any? Are there any that you know about? 
Did I mix any of these up? I don't think so. Did I forget to add any of these things? So if there's any of that information, throw it in the comments below. The point of this is to learn. I want to, you know, this is why I'm doing this. I'm researching all of this stuff, throwing it out onto the internet, seeing what feedback I get back so that I can learn. You know, something I teach you, you teach me. Uh, you know, it's a give and take relationship. That's what we're doing here. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down, whatever, okay? If you want to learn more about plants and stuff like this, or you just, you know, you want to see me try to plant, because that's what I'm doing here, I'm trying to plant, um, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, relax, plant, and peace out.